All right, we're gonna get started with how to just give you a quick demonstration on how to do this mosaic art. Um, so if you are in Google Drive, and if you don't have a computer applications folder, you can make one. You're simply gonna create a Google Drawing. And you can name the file according to the directions. Um, I'm just gonna move on, but you can stop the video and do that whenever you want. Um, the first thing that you have to do is you already have your picture selected that you want to create the mosaic art from. Um, and again, you will need to read the directions for what the specifications of that picture actually are. That will be in this area right here. Um, once you get the picture, you simply insert it onto the document. You can certainly come up to the insert menu image and upload it from your computer. You can also just drag and drop it onto the background and then take that picture, make it big enough so that it covers the entire area and all the little checkerboard stuff is actually covered up. I'm gonna make my picture a little bit smaller. See where I'm at here, there it is. So I want it to cover the checkerboard area. So you just kind of keep working with it until you get the checkerboard area all covered up, okay? And then what you're going to do is you are going to start to create the mosaic which is just small pieces of polygon um, shapes that you are going to draw. Um, I'm gonna change my zoom here a little bit. I'm gonna zoom in on my object and then I'll scroll around to see it. So I wanna start up here covering this with polygonal shapes, or you can start anywhere you want. Whatever you do, you have to cover the entire picture, every single piece of it needs to be covered. It doesn't matter what color it is. Don't do the background. We'll do that in a different way. So what you're gonna do is come up to this line tool and there is a polyline tool right here. So you bring it over to where you wanna start on your picture and you start to create polygonal shapes. Um, every shape that you draw can be different and it should be different. They can be as jagged as you want them to be. And then you, it's kind of like a puzzle you're creating. Pieces have to fit in the areas that you are creating. And again, you have to cover your entire picture with these polygon shapes. Now, I'm not taking a, a lot of time, like this is a pretty big gap right here, that probably shouldn't happen. Um, but for the mechanics of how to do this, you just continue putting in your polygon shapes. You don't want them to cover each other, you just want them to be close to each other. And you just continue to do that for your entire picture. When you get to smaller areas, you're gonna need to use like over here, over here you're gonna need to use smaller polygonal shapes, okay? Now you can't just take one polygon and cover a, a huge area. That would be not kind of the mosaic look that we're looking for. But you just continue to fill in your polygon shapes, create interest, making them look differently. So for the sake of demonstration, let's just say I have covered my entire picture, everything. Again, regardless of color, it doesn't matter. So once you get the mosaics covering the entire picture, then the next thing that you do is you do start to change the colors of these shapes. And you can go with the exact color of the, of the picture or you can venture out on your own. Now I'm still in that polygonal shape tool, so I'm just gonna press escape to get out of that. And now you can see how I can select each different polygonal shape. So if I come up here and select this polygonal shape and use my paint bucket, if I want that to be black, I choose black. And I can continue to click on each shape and make it look the way that I want it to look. Now, if I wanna be efficient, because you are, you're gonna have a lot of polygonal shapes that you have to change the colors of. One way to be efficient is to click on a polygon that is already the color you want it. If you come over here to Format Painter and you click it one time, 
once you click another polygonal shape, you will change that shape color to black or whatever color you picked. Not the most efficient because I still can only do one at a time. But if you click a polygonal shape and I want more black, so I'm going to pick a black one and I double click Format Painter, I can now continue to click as many polygonal shapes as I want and make them black. When I'm done, I just click the Format Painter button and I'm able to see where all my shapes are. So if I had this section and I wanted to make them all kind of the flesh tone color, I'd put all my polygonal shapes in, then I would change the colors, okay? All right, so let's again, for demonstration purposes, say that you already have that all done. You've done every polygonal shape that you can. You've colored them all in with everything that you want to do. Then the next step is to click on that picture and actually delete it. And now you're going to see, and again, demonstration purposes, you're going to have polygonal shapes everywhere and it should pretty much look like the picture that you just removed. We would like a background. So what we're going to do is take the shape of a square. And I suppose if you had another idea, you could use a different shape. I'm just going to draw just a little bit larger than my actual background that I see there. And it's going to cover it up, which is okay. I'm going to color it whatever color I want to color it. And then I'm going to come up here to the arrange menu and from under the order menu, I'm going to send my square, mine's orange, yours can be any color you want, to the back. And now all my mosaic pieces should be on the top. And so that's your quick little demo of how to do the mosaic art picture.